What's going on, fellas? You can see what I've been up to this afternoon. Um, I need to uh, do some shit in my phone because I only have 9 minutes and 17 seconds worth of record time. Uh, but uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. Anyways, uh, we got that, got that straightened out now that I have some, some time that I can uh, record. Um, yeah, I decided just to just, you know, come home and uh, do a little bit of walking or whatever and go pick up some cans. And uh, while I was out, uh, you know, I had found someone's um, bank card, but, you know, it was old and... Um, I'm sure they've been had it canceled and you know whatever last time I went out doing that I found 20 bucks mm -hmm. um, it was somewhat sun faded from laying in the grass as long as it had laid but uh, otherwise it was okay we got spent just like any other $20 would let me, let me set you guys up right here and we'll do our thing. Alright, I think that'll work. So I got a copyright notice on yesterday's video and yes, it took forever for it to damn process last night and it took forever for... Um, well, let me rephrase it. It took forever to rend render last night and then today I got up and uploaded it I uh, I said it this morning when I left out of the house, and uh, I didn't get a notification until like way later, and then right shortly after, it had finished processing, it was telling me that I had had a copyright notice um, because of one song that so happened to be heard, I guess, on the radio or whatever. YouTube shit is so ridiculously stupid. You know, I understand that, you know, that, that celebrities and artists and whatever aren't trying to lose money and shit. But, I mean, I was listening to the fucking radio. It ain't like I stole the song and said, hey, I'm going to play this shit today. You know what I mean? Um, it was one of Dire Straits songs. Um, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But, anyway, it's no big deal. Um, I mean, it's just one video out of was well, getting ready to be a hundred here coming up. I think I got, I think I'm up to like 92 now or 93, something like that. But, um, well, I mean, it's not the only one I've got to notice on, but it's the only one recently that I've had. And, you know, I've been out here listening to the radio several, several, several times while doing these videos and not once have I had a notice until today and I'm not even sure it was even here that was because of it I think it may have been while I was cruising in the Saturn or whatever um, but yeah I don't know what to say about it but not much I can do you know what I mean I mean sure you know sure I could uh, get up there and you know take the video back down and put it back in Vegas, edit that part out all together. But then you know you'd be losing, I'd be losing footage of something I was trying to show more than likely. So, and yes, I'm scratching the shit out of my leg because I've been got bit three or four times now by the same mosquito which I just killed a minute ago before I even started recording. And, uh, you know, he's bit me. One. One. Hold on. I mean, I got to find them all. One, two. Three. Four. He got me four times before I got his ass. But, from what I've been told, the only ones that bite are the females. I don't know if that's true or not. And I don't know where, you know, some of you, I don't know how mosquitoes are in different states. I know here we have the, the gray looking ones with the stripes. 
Um, and then there's some, they, they, when they bite, they bite the shit out of you real quick fast. And they grow big. I mean, your average mosquito is about, I don't know. It might can land on your pinky nail and be about the, you know, legs and all might be about that size. Let me see if I can find a quarter. But you imagine one landing on you that damn size, you know what I mean? I mean, can you, can you even fathom the fucking thought of the size difference? So you imagine that one versus this one biting you, you know what I mean? And it has happened and they hurt. I don't know what's worse, that mosquito, that, that big mosquito biting you or a, uh, what they call a horse fly. Horse flies and deer flies and deer flies are more of a nuisance than anything. Horse flies rarely, nine times out of 10, the only time I've ever seen a horse fly land on me or whatever is when I was around a pool or in a wet from like water or something. But otherwise, I've never, I don't think I've ever been bitten by one just because. It had to be because of water. And, um, you know, I'm assuming that they are attracted to the, the heat and the moisture. Let me see what this dog is barking at. The damn dog was barking at a rabbit. Oh. But yeah, I, mean, I came home and decided to go and pick cans up or whatever and whatever else I could find and I ended up finding It's a uh, <laughs> Funny enough, it says Ford Motor Company And no, I have not heard anything from my boss You know, I, I, I was hoping that with me going and talking to him or whatever, it would have given him the incentive to down, you know, come to me today or say something, you know what I mean? But, I don't know. I'm going to give it, you know, some time. Not a whole lot of time, but some time. And, um, I may give him... I may give them to the end of May. If nothing at all has been, you know, I've said all I can say and I've done all I can do. If the end of May comes and I've still not been hired on with them, I'm going to have to look somewhere else because I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? There's no sense in me having to, to, the only way that I can work is to be a damn temp. That's bullshit. But, you know, I guess patience is a virtue, so I'm going to be patient for right now. He did say he'd think about it, and he didn't tell me to get the hell out of his office, so, you know, I can't say that, you know, he isn't letting me keep the job, because shit could have went south real bad yesterday. Um, a couple things could have happened. He could have told me, uh, well, no, it's not going to happen, and you can get the hell out of my office which would put me out of a job. Or he could have said, no, I'm not gonna do it, but you continue to work here, can continue to work here. He didn't say that either. He didn't say yes, but he didn't say no. So, and I'm not gonna go on it as a maybe or whatever. But anyway, that's, that's water under the bridge. I'm not going to sit here and, and bore you guys about that story that I just told yesterday. Um, I don't even really have a topic for today, honestly. The, uh, the only thing that comes to mind about anything overall is why people ignore what what's the, you know, they, they see what's going on, but they ignore the obvious. For example, this town has a noise ordinance. Why does it have, why do people of all races, whatever, black, white, or Hispanic, 
have to come down the street at eight o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, or midnight, or later, bumping the shit out of what they have. It makes no sense at all. I mean, you know, you, the town has a, a has a noise ordinance, but only will enforce it if they are witness to it, or if, let's say, for example, if you continuously made noise and you live beside somebody and they complained, then yeah, they were coming, and I think it's bullshit. They, the aid and PD does not enforce what the town ordinances are. This town sucks. You know what I mean? Everything is done ass backwards. And I had a, I had eaten a damn, a payday, you know? And I got little pieces of peanuts stuck in my teeth. So that's what I was spitting out just then. But anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got, you've got a noise ordinance, which I don't remember what the damn, there's, there's little signs everywhere that's posted up. And, you know, they don't enforce it. And nobody obeys it. But yet it's, it's annoying as shit. You know, it's one thing if you're out in the country, or on a highway, or in the city, or whatever. But I think that when you come up to a stoplight, a public parking lot near a church in a town with a small community you should turn that shit off um, because I mean it's cool and everything and you know and I, I love a system don't get me wrong but I mean you gotta respect people you know you can't just go around and fucking off but people are gonna do it so it doesn't matter people people are gonna do it because they can get away with it and that shit ain't right just like this road right here from the just like you heard that car just then from the end of the highway it's like just beyond past my house it's 35 once it gets to a certain point, it drops down to 25 because you get into more of a a neighborhood. You know, I only have one neighbor beside me. You know, that's actually a physical house. You know what I mean? Not not just a property um, or empty property, should I say? But I mean, you got people that's coming from that direction because our street comes from the highway, it comes past my house, and then it rounds. And then it goes in, in into like the main street that's in town. Oh yeah, you see my lovely bruises and shit. Yeah, that came from some from my old lady beating me. You know, she beat the shit out of me. No, nah, I'm just kidding. She didn't do that. It came from moving all that stuff the other day. But um, yeah, I mean, people don't give a damn about nobody. People don't give a shit about nothing as long as it's all for themselves. You know, it, it sucks ass that you can live in a live in a country, in a state, in a community, in a town, city, community, suburbs, rural area, what the fuck ever you want to call it, and people do as they wish without any regard. We've got. Where do you think all these fucking cans came from? And most of them are beer cans. Why? Do you not understand that if you are caught with an open container in the vehicle, your ass can get in a damn ticket and possibly go to jail? People don't give a shit, man. They don't. But that's fine because as long as long as long as these sons of bitches throw cans out on the damn side of the road, I'll pick them up and I can make a profit off of them. I just made, I don't know. That's probably five dollars in that damn wagon right now. I mean, just being honest. The cans alone are 40 cents per pound. And, you know, I'm sure there's probably maybe a pound and a half in there. So that ain't like, you know, 80, 
90 cents worth, maybe a dollar even, if that, dollar and a half. And then there's a um, piece of steel in there, came off of a, an LP tank. Uh, uh, yeah, woohoo. I don't mean for real. How would you feel if someone pulled up into your driveway, didn't have a very loud system, but played it as loud as they possibly could at like 3 o'clock in the morning? How would that make you feel? How would it make you feel if you had to constantly listen to the same shit over and over and over and over again and you may have loved it at one point in time but you now you kind of resent it because it makes that is what makes certain people in a certain group look bad and what I, what I mean by that is that you know you've got the base head community they are a large knit community of people and they usually go to you know car shows and audio events and uh, SPL competitions and shit like that or whatever and they can play their music as loud as they fucking want to because they can there it's legally fine everybody you know the people that set it up have the permits and shit for it but you're talking about a fucking town you know what I mean I don't know it ain't that I'm really like you know trying to rant about the shit but I mean it, it kind of gets to a point where it's annoying you know I mean this is coming from someone who who has had systems and shit but it's not a big deal because there's nothing that I can do about it you know what I mean oh shit Man, I really got to wake up. But, you know, it is what it is as far as shit. Like I said, I didn't really have nothing to talk about, and that was the only thing that came to mind. Um, we've got these two ass hats or whatever, two black guys, that they. They're on scooters, okay? Scooters. Scooters. And. They think that they must be on fucking, like, a crotch rocket or some shit. I mean, they got their helmet on. And as far as I know, we don't have no, um, no laws stating that you got to have insurance or shit on it or whatever. But I mean, maybe they should. I kid you not. Yesterday, maybe it was the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, these two guys, same two guys, they come by here flying every day, giving them poor little scooters everything they've got. Me. I mean, just screaming at the top of their little engine's lungs, you know, that they can, as hard as they can go. These two asshats come through here, right? And they're not going that fast this time around. One of them, you know, just guns it and pulls it up at the same time and is riding the fucking wheelie on the shit. I mean, he must have thought he was Evil Knievel or something. But I mean, you know, come on. What if you'd busted your ass and broke your leg and got ran the fuck over? You didn't, you didn't, you don't think, bro. You, you, you just don't think. You know what I mean? And I mean, you know, like, with no regard at all. Where's the fucking police? Oh, I know. They're at the damn store flirting with women or damn eating donuts or fucking off. Doing bullshit that they don't, that they're supposed to be doing their job and they don't. Yeah. They rather harass than to um, serve, should I say.
You know, at one point in time, I wanted to be a cop. And I probably would have made a damn good one. But with as much ignorance as there is in the world right now, in the United States, I don't think I'd be, I don't think it'd be too good for me to have a gun and a badge. <laughs> I think I may get a little trigger happy. Cause there's some stupid motherfuckers out there. What was the story that I heard today? Um, I heard so much shit. God, what the hell was it? I can't remember now, but it was some stupid shit. I mean, for real. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I can't remember. And I hate it when I can't remember a story because I like telling the stories. I like sharing the stories that I've heard. i tell you this much though. Way back in the day, me and this guy, we were cruising along in my little Mini, my 85 Nissan. And some shit happened. And uh, lo and behold, I get pulled over, right? This, if this, if this gives you any idea of how long ago this was, for you, for those of you that are familiar with the grocery store, um, um, Win Dixie, which is no longer in existence, well, at least that I know of, anyway. Uh, I get pulled over in their parking lot. The officer comes up to the damn door. Asked for my license and registration. I kindly hand it to him. Then he asked me if he could search the vehicle, and I asked why, and he says because he believed, he was told that we had a gun in the vehicle. So I said, okay, well, you know, out of all the bullshit that I have been through in my life, I get it, I'm getting, I'm, I'm not arrested, but I'm getting my hands behind my back handcuffed, and I'm getting laid down face first on the ground while my vehicle gets searched for a gun that I did not even own. Didn't possess, did not have, nor did the friend. Oh shit. Pollen is something too. Coming right back. And it's just raining and it's coming right back already. Strong as hell. But yeah. They searched the damn truck, right? Tell us that, you know, because we supposedly had a gun in the vehicle. And yet there was no gun found. We get picked back up off the ground, unhandcuffed, and told to have a good fucking night. Fucking what? I mean, for real. What? Why? You know? Why? I, uh, I've uh i been through some shit, boys. I have. Some of them were good memories and some were bad. And I'm sorry that I really didn't have much to talk about today, but we're, we're approaching the 24-minute mark, and I'm going to have to kill it here, you know, and go on about my shit that I had to do. Tomorrow, I don't have to, to you know, get up too, too early, so I'm going to sleep in more than likely. And uh, work my four hours and come home and maybe if it doesn't rain tonight or tomorrow, there's ground in here. Maybe it's getting dry again, but it just takes so long because the dirt in here is so rich. But uh, I'm going to try to get my mom's car in here. We're going to do this fog light thing. Um, I've got the bulb over there in the bag. But, uh, I mean, that's all I got. Sorry. Sorry there could have been more to it. But, I mean, you know, some days I'm have, I've got shit, tons of shit to talk about, and some days I don't. And today was one of them that I just didn't have nothing but felt like doing a little bitch. Well, as always, please leave a comment, let me know what you think. You might as well subscribe if you haven't already. And until tomorrow, stay groovy.